Hello, Dr. Vicki Peterson here. Uh, the title of this video could be Reversing Type 2 Diabetes, uh, as well as does your doctor expect you to not only be sick, but stay sick, or maybe stay sick and get sicker? Um, the reason for this title is just something I continue to see with patients who come into the office. I actually have a friend who was recently diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. It turns out that for 15 years he has had a fatty liver. And a fatty liver used to be something we thought was only associated with uh, people who abused alcohol, which he does not. We now understand that fatty liver is really associated with inflammation, is associated with a body that's overwhelmed with toxins, the liver is a detoxification organ, and but sadly the protocol in our country is that we notice uh, what's called elevated enzymes from the liver, which uh, the liver is tested in your annual physicals, that's it's kind of a very standard testing procedure. There's several different enzymes that are looked at. And when these are elevated, uh, especially as it goes on chronically, you can be given the diagnosis of fatty liver. He was given this diagnosis, as I said, 15 years ago, but it was just kind of like, you know, well, drink less if you're drinking more, and uh, that's about it. We'll watch it. Yeah, so we watched it for 15 years, and now he has type 2 diabetes. You know, it's this viewpoint that the medical profession has in this country, which is that we don't reverse disease, we manage disease. So now he has type 2 diabetes. So he's told, well, you know, we're going to give you this drug, and that will work for a while, and then you'll need a stronger drug. And eventually you'll need insulin, but a side effect of insulin is you'll gain weight and your blood pressure will go up. And so then we'll give you medications for the high blood pressure. And of course when you have diabetes, you're much more likely to have um, heart disease. So you'll probably be needing a cholesterol lowering drug on and on and on and on. Did anybody tell this man 15 years ago that fatty liver could be reversed? Well, we know the answer to that. I kind of gave that one away, but the fact is it can. Uh, with his recent diagnosis of type 2 diabetes, did anybody tell him type 2 diabetes could be reversed? No, no, not at all. Well, we have research that says that in, um, let's see what year it was, 2011, May, uh, a journal called uh, Diabetologia, and um, it's not out of the U.S., but uh, the title was of the article was Reversal of Type 2 Diabetes, and then it went on to some technical information, uh, but I'll try to put the reference in there for anybody who wants to go look at it. And basically what they did was they put, um, that was 11 different type 2 diabetics on a uh, calorie restricted diet, and of course it wasn't just calorie restriction, uh, it was uh, higher plant-based, it was a nice clean healthy diet. Within one week, most of the symptoms and um, blood indexes of diabetes were gone. Within eight weeks, they were gone for everyone. So the worst case scenario, two months done, no diabetes. In 2012, just last year, two different articles came out from the New England Journal of Medicine, literally the same week, it was very interesting, talking about ga uh, gastric bypass surgery, so that's when they, you know, staple your stomach and make it the size of a quarter cup. Um, and of course, this is only done for morbidly obese individuals, and it costs about thirty to forty thousand dollars. But the point was this: was that in both these articles, they mentioned, "Boy, we now have a cure for type two diabetes. Get your stomach stapled." Obviously, not an answer for everyone. And do you want to live with a stomach that's the size of a quarter cup? And if you eat a little too much, you're vomiting. Not to mention, it's very difficult to get enough nutrition. So you know, there are definite side effects of that surgery, of course, but the point was that within one to two weeks after having gastric bypass surgery, type 2 diabetes didn't exist anymore. So of course it was, yay, we have a cure, not why do we have a cure? Why does stapling someone's stomach cure their diabetes? 
Have they lost their 100 pounds that they need to lose in one to two weeks of after the surgery? Of course not. So what does happen? Yes, they now have the stomach the size of a quarter cup. They're not eating the way they were. They're eating extremely moderate to minimal calories. They're watching every single thing they eat because they have such a small uh, amount of room to put in good food that they know they have to, it has to be good. They're not snacking on uh, potato chips and Twinkies uh, because they just don't, they don't have that option. And food is the most powerful drug we know. It changes hormones, it changes very special molecules in the body. And what's the outcome? Within one to two weeks, there's no more type two diabetes. This is fact, this isn't my opinion. Sure, I see it here in the clinic because we do it, but this is research showing this. Yet, you go to any endocrinologist in this country, other than maybe Dean Ornish, who has done 35 years of research on this, and he'll happily tell you how he reverses heart disease and type 2 diabetes with a plant-based diet, a nice, clean, low inflammatory diet. Let me see what else does he do. Um, yeah, oh, of course, exercise. And, um, but this is an outcome that's known. So why is it you don't hear about it? Because sadly, doctors are just told, well, here's your drug protocol, and that will do for a while until it doesn't do anymore, and then you need a more serious drug. No, that's not the answer. So if, if something comes up wrong on your blood test, or you just don't feel right, and you know you don't feel right, don't keep going to the doctor that just says, well, that's the way it is, don't have an answer. It's ridiculous, you deserve much better than that. Currently 10% of our population has type two, type 2 diabetes, and by 2050, it'll be 33% of our population has type 2 diabetes. It's time for a change. So I, I hope you found this informative. Please do share this information with others. Certainly there's a number, a huge number, of people suffering from type 2 diabetes. It increases every day. We're starting to see it in our children. And there's something that can be done about it. It can be reversed. We've seen it over and over. And what does it have to do with food, not drugs? So please do share this and uh, send me your questions. I'm more than happy to answer them. I love to hear from you. And until next time, I wish you very good health.